Power Pals! It's pa Princess here, Emerald, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a blueberry crumble frozen yogurt milkshake thingy. That's the technical term. Blueberry crumble frozen yogurt ice cream milkshake thingy. Yeah. <laughs> so the things you'll need are milk. Uh, I'm using blueberry crumble fro frozen yogurt. You can use whatever kind of frozen yogurt or ice cream you'd like. I'm also using vanilla uh, ice cream. I'm also using a mini blueberry donut for garnish, chocolate syrup, a glass for your milkshake. I have a fancy milkshake glass, but you can use whatever glass is bigger, big enough to hold your milkshake. You will need a mixer, a blender, and I'm using a handheld one. Uh, also, you will need a measuring cup, you will need a spatula, a bendy straw, I'm using a green one because it's my favorite color, a ice cream scoop, and a spoon. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure out a third of a cup of milk and you can use more milk if you want it to be less thick and less milk if you want it to be more thick. I'm using less milk because I want it to be thicker. Then I'm taking my frozen yogurt and I'm just putting, I'd say this is, I guess, about a cup. I'm just putting how much I think looks good. Get off the spoon! That feeling on the frozen yogurt does not cooperate. It's just enraging. I think this looks like about a cup and a half. I'm not look I'm not too sure, but you can just put as much frozen yogurt or ice cream as you like because it's really up to you how much you want. Now I'm taking a scoop of vanilla ice cream. You can use just one kind of frozen yogurt or ice cream, but I'm using two because I want to. Photobomb. <laughs> Hey! And technically, it's not even a photo bomb, Missy. It's a video bomb, which is even worse. So, naughty, naughty. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this up. Whoop! Okay, that was not in. Okay, that looks quite thick. Just a second, I'm taking off the motor so that I can scrape this down with my spatula. Make sure that when you're doing this, you have an adult there so that they can help you with any appliances you're going to be using. I'm scraping this down with a spatula, but I took off the motor so that because I can take off the motor on mine, mine's fancy-ish. <laughs> so I'm just scraping it down and oh you am not supposed to get there. I'm scraping down the sides and I'm just checking the consistency and I think it's pretty good, but I'm going to add a bit more milk so that it can fit through my straw. I'm just eyeballing it and putting a bit more in and stirring it up with my spatula. And I'm going to put a bit more vanilla ice cream in because I don't want it too thin and I don't want it too thick. And I just want it very ice creamy and pretty even. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up again because I added some ingredients, so 
I want to make sure that it's mixed very well. Just putting the motor back on. Making sure it's on this time. Just uh, gonna do some mess control here. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I got some more Scott towels so that I'm not making a huge mess. I'm going to scrape down the sides and make this up, mix this up with my spatula a little bit. And I think this is perfect, so I'm just going to put a little bit, just a couple squirts of chocolate syrup. And I'm not going to blend it this time because the consistency is pretty good. I'm just going to mix this in with my spatula. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is put some of this down the sides. Oh, this looks very delicious. And I'm going to put it in the bottom. Now I'm going to carefully put in my milkshake. Oh boy, just, just fits. So I'm going to put a skew, a very small skew, of vanilla ice cream on the top. You can also put whipped cream if you'd like. Oh, and I'm a bit of a mess because I may have gone a bit crazy with how much I put in. Now I'm putting in my straw. I just took a couple sips so that <laughs> it goes down. Now I'm putting my donut on to my straw and just tipping it a little bit. That looks amazing. I'm just going to put this all in a pile so that I can tidy it up once I'm done with the video. And always make sure to reseal your ice cream so that it doesn't get freezer burnt. A good tip is to put saran wrap touching all the sides and then close the box so that it stays nice. I'm going to put okay, okay, there we go, a little bit of chocolate sauce and there you have it. You're perfectly delicious. I'm so tempted to drink this but I'm going to wait for the taste test. There you have it. Your perfect blueberry vanilla milkshake with a little donut on it. I'll have my mini donut testing video up soon, so you can check out how to make the donut too. I hope you had a great time watching this and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite flavor of um, milkshake is and if you're going to try this and make sure to post it to Instagram 
or tweet it to me by my, via my mom. I'll have all my social media links down below. Go check out my Google Plus. I have weekly polls on my Power Princess Google Plus. Make sure to hashtag this Power Princess on Twitter or on Instagram to make sure I can find it. And you can also hashtag it Power Princess on Google Plus. I'd love to see your creations. It will make my day. If you have any suggestions for, for other recipes that you'd like me to try, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Make sure to subscribe to become a Power Pal if you haven't already. And like this video. I'm also going to put a spoon in so that I can eat the ice cream. I really hope that doesn't go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Okay, so have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!